One morning when Pharaoh awoke from his bed, there were frogs on his head and frogs on his bed. Frogs here, frogs there. Frogs are jumping everywhere. Hi kids, it's Miss Eileen. I know you need a frog at your Passover table, so I'm gonna show you how to paint a frog. Now I went walking one day and I found a kind of a triangle shaped rock. You can use any rock if you want. So this one's already finished, but I'm gonna show you how to do one. I used acrylic paints, but I'm sure you could use whatever paint you have at home, maybe even watercolor. So I've already pre-painted this rock on this side green, so I could show you the details on the frog. So to get the dark legs, the dark green on the legs, I mixed a little green and a drop of black. And I like a foam brush. So I just mixed it all up. And voila, I got a little dark green. So, so this is gonna be his face. We're gonna do one little over here for his one leg. And one little swish over here on the other leg. And by the way, it's not necessary to paint the bottom, but you can if you want. Now to do this little div divider, I just took a little more of this paint and went down the middle. That's all. Now the best part about paint brushes is also the brush, but I like to use the back end. So that's what I use to make the yellow dots. A little yellow paint, got the bottom of the paintbrush. Doot, doot, look, perfect circles. Perfect spots for my frog. And you can do however many you want, but don't forget, we still have to do eyeballs. Now, instead of using paint, because it's really hard to make those itty bitty little marks on the frog, I got my black Sharpie. So, here's the nostrils. All right, and for the eyeballs, make big old circles. One, two, and then the middle of his eye is gonna be black. You could paint that if you want. And don't forget, this needs to, the paint needs to be dry on the frog. But you could paint this too if you wanted. Okay, so then I take my yellow paint and just a little above, oops, a little below. Your, your frog could have bigger eyes, that's fine too. And then I take a dash of white. Eyeballs. I'm trying. Oh, too much. Doot. Doot. There you go. I have a rock frog for my centerpiece on my Seder. Or you can make several. Or you can put people's names on them for place cards. Either way, have a great Passover and an easy Seder. And don't forget your frogs.